Hi everyone, it's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and I'm here tonight just going to film a quick video with some cards I've been making as well as <clears throat> some swap items that I received from uh, Laura and Elise. But I wanted to share with you guys first just a few cards that I've been making. Um, if you've already visited my blog then you've seen most of these already. Um, or maybe even all of them but one. So this is a card that I made for my dear friend Mary Beth for her birthday. I'm supposed to be sending it to her but I have been down with a cold the last couple of days <clears throat> and I am way far behind this week on a bunch of different things that I need to take care of. So this will be going out to her and uh, it says wish big and this is a new stamp set from Paper Tray Ink that I got that has these swirly sentiments and this is a Cherry Lynn Designs die um, kind of behind this panel. This is a PTI die. This is a Cherry Lynn Designs. And then I, and the circular die with um, the little sewing strip in it is from Little Inker Designs. So, and uh, this one, this border die is Impression Obsession. So, anyway, the inside of the card looks like this. It has another little, um, it has, oh boy, I can't focus. There we go. It has a little inker um, rectangle die on the inside. I don't know why it's not focusing well. I think my camera's starting to go a little bit. So that's one of the cards. And then I made these two cards. Uh, this one was for a girlfriend named Kara, who we did a blog hop for. And she has a wonderful site. If you go over to my blog and you look up this card, her um, blog is called k Designs, I believe. Um, and she's also on Pinterest, but she's an incredible card maker. And, uh, I'm always inspired by what I see on her blog, so um, if you're interested, you should go check her out, but this is a card that I made for her for her birthday, and on the inside it says, May All Your Wishes Come True, and this one uses little inker designs, and Tailored Expressions is this pretty little die with the hearts on it, and then Impression Obsession has this cake die, and um, so that is this card, and then just for fun, I also made it in a in an aqua color paper also. Um, and the papers, if you're wondering, are from Arala Miha shop on Etsy. And um, I use a lot of her shabby chic um, papers that she sells digitally and I just print them on my computer. So um, this card is the same exact design as this one, just a different color. And then for the shabby tea room this week, uh, the month of September, I'm their guest designer. And this week uh, was all about the color white and using white and neutrals to create your projects. And I made this really cute ornament. Um, it's hard for me to do this because I'm holding my camera tonight. But anyway, it has, um, I attached this little cording to it to make the hanger. And um, the front of it says, every time a bell rings, an angel gets her wings. Um, and that's what it looks like. And there's a little pair of wings and some jingle bells and some twine. And then this is an old piece of curtain that I die cut with the um, Tim Holtz Tattered Florals die. I use that one a lot to layer, um, you know, to create little flowers with. Um, old curtain panels are such a wonderful textural thing to use for making flowers. And then the doilies are from the Paper Bag Lady. Um, that little piece of beige doily that's sticking out. I cut one in half and I used a piece on each side of the heart and it comes down further on one side, so it's kind of asymmetrical. And then um, this is a Tim Holtz pearl bobble at the bottom, which I sewed um, to the back and then covered the sewing with a little rose. And then on the back it says, I believe in angels. And it also has um, a little angel wing with a little button. Um, and then I covered up where I did the stitching of the tie on there with some additional buttons and roses just to make the back of the ornament look pretty. So that kind of gives you an idea of what that looks like. So every time a bell rings, an angel gets her wings. And that is a Paper Sweeties stamp set. And I was guest designing again for the Shabby Tea Room blog. Um, it's, a, it's a card challenge blog or a project challenge blog. And um, I made the ornament, but to go with it, I created this card. And this card says, every time a bell rings, an angel gets her wings. And it has um, identical wings on it as the ornament does. 
So it's just a, a very simple card. I used some music paper here, and the two heart die cuts are from Paper Tray Ink. And this, um, I embossed it with some snowflakes, which is also a Paper Tray Ink embossing plate. And then I used um, tea dye ink and some stickles around the outside just to give it shimmer. I feel that Christmas cards should always have um, shimmer to them. It just makes it more Christmassy to me, I guess. Christmas and sparkle sort of go together in my world. So anyway, um, but again, I, I probably use stickles on almost every project that I create. Uh, the diamond is my favorite color. Anything any of the white glitters, diamond, crystal, etc. But the diamond is the color I use most because it has a touch of gold to it, and I really like the way it shimmers. So that's what you see on this card. Um, and then also on this one, I added um, diamond dust glitter. So that's what you see. I put glue down and just did diamond dust glitter on here. So anyway, so those are some of my um, the projects that I've been working on in the last week or so. So thanks for taking a look at those. And then I thought I would also share, I did a swap with Elise and Laura recently. Um, uh, we shared just some different things back and forth. Um, and I just wanted to share the packages that I got from them last week, actually. It's just been a crazy time at my house and I, I'm fighting this cold and I'm just, I haven't been getting anything done. But this is uh, the package that Elise sent me. I guess, I'm sorry, I'm going to crinkle here trying to get this out. I should have taken it out ahead of time. But um, and maybe you can kind of see through the packaging. Um, you can see, I think she showed on her, um, on some of her videos, how she makes these beautiful um, ribbon uh, or lace storage cards with the die that she got from Sizzix, I believe. And um, she covers them with paper. And uh, so she sent me one of those and I just love it. I think that the idea of doing this and having a whole bunch of these is just wonderful. So thank you, Elise. Um, and then she sent me this beautiful um, like silk flowers um, with like pearls. And that's like a spray, I guess you'd call it. And some more um, lace on a little French clothespin and a little clip with flowers on it and a really pretty frame which I might just put a picture in and put up in my craft room because it kind of goes with my room really well and then a bunch of beautiful flowers um, oops I'm dropping I'm sorry but these little pink ones and then these kind of curly I think those are curly roses um, and I think these look like, um, is it chrysanthemums or carnations? Those are so pretty. I'm sorry, I'm sniffing you guys. I just have a horrible cold. And then look at all these beautiful baubles in here. Plus these are some little, um, I don't have any of these. These are like china or I forget what you call it, but these are roses that are made out of like clay or something with silk centers. They're just gorgeous. I wish you could see them in person. But that's a pretty good shot right there. Um, and then this beautiful milk glass piece in here and this doily. And then all of these gorgeous, gorgeous. This is one of those barrettes they were showing, which I might give to my niece for her birthday that's coming up because she loves sparkly things. And another little um, chandelier drop, a pretty rose right there. So just all of these gorgeous, gorgeous things. See that? So I will have fun making some flowers. I was watching um, Jayzella make um, these really pretty flowers that you didn't, didn't have to do any sewing for. And she uses the tattered florals dye to make them. And I watched her video the other night and I really want to try it. So thank you, Jayzella. That's a really good video. And if I can get over this cold and find some time to actually work in my craft room, I will be... Um, here, hold on just a second, you guys. I will be um, making some of those flowers, and I'll be sure to show you guys. So anyway, this is the rest of the things that she sent, and I'm just, I just can't believe it. Look at how pretty. So these, you'll see these coming out on upcoming cards and stuff. There's a beautiful doily, and then I just wanted to show you the milk glass piece. So it's this beautiful dish with just really pretty, like, um, I don't know, diamond design to it, I guess. 
I'm not sure what it's called, but anyway, so that's lovely, and um, I thank you, Elise, and then Laura sent me this, oh, and you know, Elise sent me a pretty note, too, I was going to show you the little note card, it matches um, almost perfectly with the little, um, I just thought it went so well together with this, so anyway, um, on to Laura's, and then Laura sent me this gorgeous card, and, you know, turquoise and pink and green, the light colors, um, shabby chic colors are my favorites. And this is just gorgeous. It's like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the dimension, but it's like chipboard. And then she used a gorgeous girl mermaid, which I don't even think I've seen this before, but it's just precious. And um, Laura, I have a die that cuts out these little seahorses from Cheerylin Designs. And I just think they'd be so cute with her. So I'll try and send you some of those. Um, it might be cute to have some little seahorses next to her, I was thinking. But anyway, this card is just gorgeous. And I think she showed these roses right here are ones that she got at Hobby Lobby. Um, and I think she showed them on her on a video the other day. But they're really neat looking roses. I've never seen that type of rose before, but they're really pretty. And then she put pearls in them. They're just gorgeous. And she has this beautiful bling on there. And some of that really nice turquoise seam binding. So just a beautiful, beautiful card, which I'm not doing a good job of showing, but there it is. So I'm not sure how she did this black piece. Maybe that's a Martha Stewart or I don't know. But you guys, this is just gorgeous, like glitter paper or she added glitter. I don't know. Um, Laura, you'll have to tell me. But anyway, <laughs> so beautiful card with a sweet note inside. And then she sent me this lovely packet of all of these fun blings and again we did a swap um, and there's even a pair of those little glasses it's kind of falling behind but anyway um, look at all these I should have taken them out of the package but I took everything out of the boxes but I forgot to take it out of the packaging to really show you because I was trying not to have the video be too long but it's already at 12 minutes so I better speed it up and finish um, and then she also sent these beautiful I don't know what you call, like, um, these are like, I don't know if they're, I guess they're paper. I don't know, they just feel a little bit different than the other ones, but they're really dimensional and really pretty colors. So she put those in there, and then in here are these really pretty doilies. There's this one, and this one, so I think they're the same, but they're just gorgeous. I don't know where she got those. And then she sent me this really pretty piece of milk glass. So I just thought that was so cool. And I don't know if I've ever shown you guys, but even though my desk is a mess right now, I'll, I'll, I'll let you see. I've got all sorts of ribbon and stuff in here. But um, at the thrift store one day, I came across these three pieces. And um, I went thrifting one day about a month ago. And when I brought them home, I tried to stack them and it worked. So I don't know if anyone else has these three, but they stack really nicely and make like a little, um, you know, storage bin. But mine's a mess. Those are all, like I think I showed you guys, this is that um, ribbon that I got from the lady that sews the lace onto the, oh, what do you call that stuff? Burlap. Oh, geez. I am tired tonight. <laughs> But anyway, I've got a bunch of different Christmas bells and stuff sitting up here on the top. If you haven't been to Michael's recently, they have these bells that have the glitter already on them. And they also had turquoise jingle bells, which I had not seen before. I mean, they have like the light turquoise and the dark turquoise. So I picked up some bells at Michael's. You guys might want to go take a look. And I also got this bag. And this bag has red velvet and green velvet bells in it. They're just precious. So anyway, that's from Michael's. All right, that's it for me tonight. You can see my messy, messy desk. Um, and hopefully I will be back with my uh, last guest design. Or maybe I have two more weeks. I have two more weeks of guest designing with the Shabby Tea Room. So I will be back with my next project for them. And uh, they have wonderful prizes. So if you ever want to join in their challenges, upload your card and link to their challenge blog with it and uh, you could win a prize. So this is what's over there this week from me and I will be back with a project for them for next week very soon. Um, again using Paper Sweetie's stamps which is um, Debbie's company and Debbie is the one who runs the Shabby Tea Room blog. So her stamps are really cute and I just love 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 this sentiment. Every time a bell rings an angel gets her wings. 
and it reminds me so much of the movie It's a Wonderful Life. And we all have wonderful lives, so you guys have a good rest of the week. This is Jill with Green Will Grow Cards saying goodnight. Bye-bye.